Another thing that you need to consider doing is being proactive. You know, don't wait for the court to tell you to put your child in play therapy. Be proactive. You know, proactivity, the court does not want to be your parent. The court wants to see that the children are in good hands and it, do, it can back away from that situation. So even before there's some sort of conference, mediation, a family, pa a family plan meeting with Family and Protective Services, be proactive, but also take it for real. Don't you know, I have the privilege to volunteer in some CPS cases, Child Protective Services cases, along with CASA volunteers. And these are, these are our toughest cases. And what I will tell you is the parents who are, who are truly working it, who are truly trying to reestablish their relationship with their children, things are gonna, things are gonna go their way. They're gonna go in a more positive way. But when you're in a, when you're faced with that amount of scrutiny from, if CASA's been appointed on your case, there's a problem. And what I would say is, don't phone it in. If you're, if you're thinking, even a, just for a second, that you can do an online parenting class, pass one or two random, you, you know, urine or alcohol screenings, and you're going to reestablish connection with your family. That's not the case. You need to really drill down. You need to figure out it. If if you've got a problem that has led you to this scenario, it may not be rock bottom for you, but it might be rock bottom for your parent-child relationship. You can't take it more seriously. You've got to focus, drill down. This is a scenario where you've got to stop whatever behavior got you in that situation. That's got to be part of the past and you can't be part of your future, especially if you want to continue your parent-child relationship that you used to enjoy without state intervention, government intervention prior to whatever led you down that You'll never be involved in a situation like this. But if you are, again, what I would say in closing is find a healthy outlet to release the stressors of whatever's going on in that family case. And another thing you got to remember is that the court systems, you know, the wheels of justice are slow. And the reason why they're slow is to protect children. The court cannot accept at face value that you are who you say you are. They got to investigate. They, 